Hello everyone, this is a step-by-step -step guide on how to install Kali Linux on VirtualBox in 2019. As you can see, I'm I am using macOS, but this guide will apply to any operating system. Before we start, we need to download the necessary files for the virtual lab. There is only three files, which are the ISO, the, the, ex the EXE or DMG file, and the extension pack. The easiest and fastest way to download the ISO is through a BitTorrent client. I recommend using something like QBitTorrent because it's the easiest way to download. Trying to use a direct download will actually cause some sort of overhead when downloading, so it's best to torrent it if you want to avoid going on that route. If you noticed, I'm actually using a different ISO than what most, guy, most guides use, which is Kyle Linux with the Mate desktop environment. I mainly use this one because it's much more responsive than using the default environment, which is GNOME. The same, get, same goes with e, XFCE. Uh, you don't have to do this. It's actually pretty optional, but I highly recommend it if you want a much more responsive uh, virtual lab. To install Kali Linux in Windows, just run through the installation wizard and apply the recommended settings. Uh, but for us, to install Kali Linux in macOS, just open the DMG file. You can skip this. Double click in the package file and just click continue through this. Enter your password. And it's finished. To install the extension pack, just double click through this. But um, as of now, I have already installed it, so I'm just going to skip this step. After that's done, we are now beginning, we, now we can install the OS. Click new. Name it anything you want, but um, for me, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna name it Kali. For the type, pick Linux. And for the version, pick Debian 64-bit. For the memory, I recommend something around um, 2,500 megabytes. So, uh, depending on your on your system, if you have more memory, just put in more if you want. Uh, just click create, click continue, and uh, if you actually want some sort of performance boost, I would recommend fixed. But uh, for most people, dynamically allocated would be be good enough to be honest. Um, uh, Kali Linux is actually pretty hefty. Usually I use 45 gigabytes since Kali is actually pretty hefty, but if you need more or less, just change it to what you need. Um, so I'm just, just for me, I'm just going to use 45. After configuring the OS, just um, go, this, go to settings. So right click and just click right there. Um, uh, go to advanced and put these uh, two options here as both as both bi-directional and then click on system on the processor tab uh, you should use at least three cores uh, on display which is right here this will depend if you are if you're using a GPU but if you're only using uh, dedicated CPU graphics then just put s just put the video memory between 32 or 64 uh, megabytes, so I'm just going to use around 40. Um, acceleration settings. Um, if, you're, if you're using a light uh, Linux uh, desktop environment, it won't really matter, but uh, if you're just using like GNOME, then I guess you can just enable 3D if you want. For storage, which is uh, right here, uh, click, on, click on the empty tab, uh, check the live CD, and click on the CD icon, and chooses the virtual disk. So we just want to find our ISO, which we left in the desktop, right here. And click OK. So, and then just launch the lab. And just go down here and click graphical install. So once we get to get this screen, so just choose the settings you need.
just keep the hosting default. Uh, you don't have to do anything for the domain name. You can just leave it alone. Uh, so put in the password. And just choose your uh, time zone. For the disk, make sure you select guided uh, use entire disk. So it's all, it's already selected. So the first one, and select your disk, and uh, make sure you want to choose uh, choose the recommend setting, which is right here. And make sure this is selected, and just click continue. Uh, we want to click yes. Now it's installing the system, so we it's gonna take a while, so just be patient right here. All right, so once the installation is done, um, just click yes on the mirror, and you should leave the proxy the uh the proxy blank. And for some people, this might take a while, so just uh just sit back as well on this one too. So once you get here, just click yes. Uh, to install the master boot record, uh, click your hard drive, and now it should be installing Grub. So, um, uh, before you let it reboot, uh, just go inside um, Manager, uh, and then click on Settings. Go back to Storage, and just take this one out. So, just click here and just remove this from Virtual Drive. Just press OK, so we don't boot off from the live CD again. And now just wait here until it reboots to the Grub menu. Uh, so once you see a Grub menu like this with a little dragon on the middle, um, just click the first option here. So if you get a black screen like this, um, all you have to do is uh, type in root. And type in the password that you created um, during the, the installation phase. So for me, I would just type in my own. And uh, once you get this red uh, red command prompt menu, just uh, just type in start x. And this should actually load the desktop environment. So it, it does take a while for the wallpaper to load, but it shouldn't be that much of a of a deal breaker. Oh, there it is. <laughs> So next, open up the terminal. And just type in this command right here. So apt up, um, update and apt y upgrade. Oops. And apt y install. Virtual box guest x11, which are the uh, guest editions, and this might take a lot of time. So just um just like maybe like more than 10, 10 20 minutes, depending on your internet connection. So uh just just be patient right here as well. <clears throat> so I forgot to tell you guys that um if you get these weird prompts, like these like <laughs> weird like Windows ninety five prompts um. Just like, just like, click the default option, so you can just, uh, just uh, get on with the installation. So you, it doesn't really have to be like a specific one. Uh, just press yes, uh, and just press the default for most of these. So yeah, just, just click on those. All right, guys, this is the final thing we have to do. So if you have that black screen when you try to log in, this is simply the fix. So um, type in apt y install light dm system ctl enable light dm and just reboot the system after it's done uh so i don't know why but for some reason the disk image for monte desktop environment uh there's no display manager installed so i have no idea why but uh just add this and it'll simply fix it and once once your system reboots you're you're, you're completely done you can you can just start using it so happy hacking <laughs>